In this video, we're going to install a custom domain in Samcart so we can have a nice URL like this, which is codyslaunchmaps.com, instead of this codybirch.samcart.com slash product slash perfect dash ad dash template. It always looks better to have a custom domain and luckily Samcart has no limit to how many custom domains you can connect. So the first thing we have to do is go into Samcart and create our product. And I'm going to create a new product, which is gonna be a paid mini workshop that I'm calling the ads for launching workshop. I'll add the description later, it's one time payment. Let's charge 47 bucks. Now we have our core product that's gonna be tied to this domain. The next thing we do is go over to Cloudflare. So go to cloudflare.com and create a username and password or go ahead and log in. Click on add a site and we're going to add our site ads for launching. Com. And of course I own this domain. I just bought it using Google domains. So now we're going to click add site and it tries to charge you money for stuff, but you can just click down here and click on the free option and click continue. Since this is a brand new domain, we can delete the existing DNS record that's on here because we don't need it. We're just going to add two more. So delete that. And we're going to create two new CNAME records. Click on add record. The type is CNAME. The name that's required for the first one is www. And the target that's required is custom dot samcart.com. Go ahead and add that CNAME record. And we're gonna add one more that's going to redirect traffic for people that don't type in the www. It'll end up in the right place as well. So click add record one more time. This is also a CNAME record. And we wanna say anybody who types in ads for launching.com should go to www.adsforlaunching.com. Com. and click save. Now we have our two DNS records created in Cloudflare. Let's head over to where your domain is hosted, which is Google domains in my case, and we're gonna add some custom DNS records. I'm now in my adsforlaunching.com domain within Google domains, and we're gonna click on DNS. And instead of using the default name servers, we're going to use custom name servers. And these come from Cloudflare. So once we click continue, it'll tell us the DNS names that we should use. So we don't need to remove the following name servers. We're just going to switch from default over to custom and we're gonna add these Cloudflare name servers. So click to copy and paste it there. And then click to copy this one and then paste it there and click save. So now the name servers have been updated on Google domains and it takes a while, sometimes up to 24 hours for the information that we just did to propagate across the internet. Now head back over to Cloudflare and we're going to make sure we have full SSL enabled. And it is for now. Now, one thing I've noticed, you might see this as well. If you wait, let's say 24 hours, like check back tomorrow morning and see that it's not working. When you type in adsforlaunching.com, it's not going to the right product. It might say too many redirects or you get some kind of error message jump back into Cloudflare and check on SSL. Sometimes I've noticed through whatever process it has to go through, it'll automatically take you back to flexible, which we don't want. We want it back on full. So give this 12 hours and then check back and make sure that it's still set to full and you should be good to go. Now, while that's working, it's magic on Cloudflare and in Google domains, keep in mind changes to your DNS and name servers might take up to 24 hours to show up on the internet. Let's head back over here to Samcart. I've got my product created, the ads for launching workshop, and I'm gonna go up here to settings, custom domains, and I'm going to add a new custom domain. So I'm gonna type in adsforlaunching.com, and it's asking for the default product, which is why that was the first thing we did. There it is, ads for launching workshop. And I did make a custom favicon, so let me grab that real quick. Let's click save. We can ignore this message here for now. I'm gonna add it again, but add the www. Default product, ads for launching workshop. And now because I just uploaded the favicon, it'll be right all the way down here at the bottom is the last image I uploaded, and I can just select it from the menu here. As you can see in my custom domain area of my SAM cart, I've got ad writing workshop, funnel by five, targeting workshop, name your price workshop, Cody's launch maps like we talked about at the beginning of the video, funnel by Friday bootcamp. I have a lot of custom domains set up in SAM cart and it creates a really nice custom feel when people hit my landing pages for my offers. Instead of my name.samcart.com slash product name, it's a really clean and easy thing. So that's why it looks really good. Let's check now and see if this is live. Since it's been about three minutes since I set this all up, it's not ready yet. So I'm gonna check back in about 12 12 hours and we'll see how it's going then. But I noticed I didn't quite finish the step in Google domains. So when I logged back into Google domains to check on it, though I did set up the custom name servers, it wasn't actively using those settings. So now I'm gonna click switch to these settings and now it's using custom name servers. But again, it may take time to propagate. So don't forget that step there. Let's check again and see if it's working. I doubt it, it's only been a few minutes. So not yet, let's check back again later. 
All right, it's only been about 10 minutes since I stopped recording the previous video section and I refreshed the Cloudflare page and I noticed that on SSL overview, it had automatically switched to flexible. So I'm gonna switch it back to full and let's take a look and see if this works now. Open up a new tab, ads for launching.com. All right, it worked. This is the product page. I'm gonna build it out. I'm gonna add the graphics and testimonials and case studies and all of the benefit bullets and things like that. But as far as the actual custom domain being set up, that's all it took. And in this video, it took about 10 minutes and you can even see the little favicon or browser icon up here has been populated and working correctly. So we're good to go. How easy is that?